Hi everyone, welcome along. Today I'm going to do a review of this little beauty. Uh, it's made by these people here, Riddle Max, and uh, I'm going to give it a look over, see what we think of it. So, what are we looking at here exactly? Well, if you've got a car stereo with just a single DIN fitting that just plays a CD or the radio, you'll know, like me, that you, know, you carry a stack of CDs, but changing them and just one album is a bit, you know, a bit of a chore, isn't it? <laughs> Trying to keep up with one album and it's finished before you know it. Um, well, really, what we'd like to do is either A, uh, play our phone, which has probably got tons of media on it. I know mine has, and I expect yours has as well, but it's all locked on the phone, isn't it? Um, or you may have an um, SD card or a USB stick with tons of music on it. Uh, all those MP3s, I know, but they're pretty good. Good enough for a car. Uh, but what, 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 would, what would happen? I mean, they're stuck, aren't they, on our players? What if we could get that off of our player, off of our phone, and into the car stereo so that we can finally play it or off of our SD card and play it through the radio? Well, this is the gadget. Okay, so this is our little device here. I mean, I'm also assuming you haven't got a 3.5 millimeter jack on your stereo in your car to even jack uh, your phone into it. Um, so we're looking at this little device here. And this little thing is basically a device that will transmit the music from your phone or from a card or from a USB stick uh, to your radio where you can receive it and play the music through. It's quite a nifty, nifty little device. Um, if you look at it there, you can see you, you can answer the phone. So you've got hands-free calling, which is really handy. You've got two ports up on the top here, and one of them is for a USB stick. We like a little mini stick in ours, and the other one is to charge your phone. So, because as you know, if you're playing your phone uh, via Bluetooth through this thing, uh, the battery goes very quickly, doesn't it? So by having a, a phone charger port there, you can keep your phone going and keep the thing running. All right, so it's quite a nifty little thing. There's a, there's a little port on the side here for an SD card and a mini jack in as well if you wanted to. If you wanted to put a jack in, uh, you could do it that way as well. So it's quite an iffy device, just goes in a cigarette lighter, as you can see there. It's quite bendy, it goes up and down like this, so you can kind of match it around to your car to fit, you know, so it's not too bulky and sit in it as you want it. Um, and I've found it been quite good. So I really rate this, obviously. Now the sound quality will not be as good as a CD player. You know, if you think you're going to get CD quality, forget it, you won't get that quality. Uh, but what you do get is a good compromise, in my opinion, uh, in that the fact is we've got tons of music and you want to be able to play it, don't we? So we have to make a little compromise and this device, I think, is the compromise because the sound quality is adequate, okay, pretty okay, good enough. So without delay, we'll take it down to the car and we'll plug it in. Uh, once you plug it in the socket, it will come on with this little message, which I do love the accent actually, it's fantastic. <laughs> Have a listen to this. The Bluetooth is ready to pair. The Bluetooth is connected successfully. As easy as that, you just turn the phone on and it's paired. Straightforward, easy, you haven't got to do it every time. As soon as you get in your car and start up, it will pair and no problem. You're away with your music. There you are, she's in and uh, we've got a USB stick in there, a little mini one and a SD card and, and what I like is we, we have different music on different uh, devices so we know when we go for the SD card it's our, just our complete favourite single tracks and when we go to the USB it's our album tracks and stuff like that um, and obviously you've got 32 gigabyte on each so it's a fairly big capacity if you add both together that's 64 gigabyte which is a hell of a lot of storage and uh, gives you tons of room for, for all your music if you don't want to use a phone um, uh, and do use your Bluetooth um, it's something else we like to do if we don't take our phone as you can see there, there's a fast forward uh, a full 
forward next track I mean and a, and a back track uh, and that's really it's not too much to it really it's quite simple and easy to do the other thing is the memory and that's to change the, the radio frequency the M changes the frequency so you can select it for the right frequency for your car radio uh, and adjust it if you're on a channel that is is got a station on it already so you can move it along and get a, a clear signal a nice clear channel where there's no radio broadcasting tune that in and away you go and really that's it the idea i like about this thing really is that you just plug it and forget it leave it in and just leave it there uh, and you can just switch between your radio then on whatever button you preset your stations and then when you've had enough of that if you fancy something of your own music you can just click it back over to this which will be on, on mine it's channel six uh number six on my radio uh there it is there um so i'd, I'd have number six here as my channel for the little stick there uh and obviously one two three for radio one two and so on um and that's it really it's nice and simple you just leave it there once you turn the ignition off it all goes off and uh, that's it and it will just come on when you when you turn on another little good thing to know uh, it does remember what track um, you were playing uh, when you turn it off all right so if you are playing an sd or usb card it will remember the track you don't doesn't start all again okay it hasn't got random which is a little bit of a miss but never mind um that's on the stick but obviously you could, if you're using your phone you can obviously random your phone tracks which uh so it's not really a big deal okay so that that's about it really that's our little gadget lastly if and not least you get a nice little remote control here as you can see everything's on it volume track forward back track backwards folders so like i say we can check and change different folders on the usb and the sd card so that's all kind of nice a, a play and pause so it's got even an eq on there which is quite good uh with there's about six presets of eq that you can change um with to suit you how you you like your music played so all in all that that is quite a handy little nifty device there's even the answer to phone uh, there on it you can see there on the play if the phone goes going back to the gadget of course as you look at it you can see that obviously you push that button if the phone goes and that answers it for you and pretty good actually because it, the quality isn't bad um, you can talk quite clearly through it and answer a phone call and you know talk normally and the good thing is it obviously overrides everything once the phone goes <laughs> which is what you want it to do isn't it so all in all i think we've covered it all um so for the next to nothing money i'm talking about peanuts money for this little device you get a lot for your money so just a little one from me i thought i'd fill you in on it because anything i like to buy i like to pass it on to you guys so there you are all my videos you know where to go usual place Derek and 33. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.